The United Nations withdrawal from the airport in Mogadishu signaled a further descent into chaos. Somalis grabbed whatever belongings and food were left behind by the UN, while militiamen tried to reimpose gun law at the airport. But hordes of looters desperate to take whatever they could defied the heavily armed clansmen. Militiamen on gun-mounted trucks were at first unable to reign in the looting frenzy. Explosions went off at the end of the runway. The events that triggered the looting began at dawn. 1,500 Pakistani UN troops in a heavily armed tank convoy abandoned the outer perimeter of the airport and cautiously made their way to the port area. US forces covering the retreat closed the way to anyone wanting to follow the UN convoy. Barbed wire was placed on the beach area while American forces took up fortified positions. They had to take cover as security around the airport broke down. But the protection force was determined to bar the way to further trouble. Many Somalis, however, were willing to take chances to get at what was left behind. American commander Anthony Zini conceded the speed of the invasion was a surprise. What? No, I was hoping that uh, we could get police in position first. I think the crowds uh, and the, the very efficient withdrawal uh, caused the uh, people to come out of the woodwork a lot quicker. We watched the technicals come in. It was obvious from the beginning that they were pushing people back and clearing it. So uh, I made the decision from up here in the OP not to uh, fire on them. The vacuum left by the withdrawing UN troops was rapidly filled with hungry and desperate looters. Militiamen eventually regained control of the area, and faction leader Mohammed Farah Aidid later found it safe enough to tour the airport.